American mountaineer and travel writer John Harlan is in Lausanne, writing his daily blog for Border Stories, the project with Swiss Info in which he climbed, paddled and biked around the Swiss border. From his vantage point, he can see the mountains where he grew up, in Lausanne, and where his Swiss Info odyssey began last summer. Not far from there is also the spot where he fell while climbing and broke both feet. Unfazed by the accident, after a couple of months, he came back to complete the second part of his adventure. It's actually one of the challenges is taking an hour or sometimes more because I'm very slow at typing on the, the iPhone here and uh, taking that time out of the middle of the day when I have a lot of distance to travel, but I also have to get the report filed. Often things would have happen in the afternoon, or most of the traveling distance would be in the afternoon, but I'd have to get the report filed earlier. And then the evenings, I can flesh out the report and add more to it. But there, once again, <laughs> you know, I have dinner, and then I am tired from the very long full day. And so I'll be laying there in the sleeping bag, um, supposedly writing something new to flesh out the report with, but instead I'd be falling asleep. <laughs> Each of our experiences is personal and individual and absolutely real to us. And so it's, the trick is being able to share that in a way that other people identify with it. See what you're missing out on by not being fatter? <laughs> just now I am really seriously worried about my knee, which just gave me a big twang after some uh, soreness of this whole tendon band here. I lived right up over here in Les Ains. You know, heaven was up here just above. And then Dad died when I was 10 on the Eiger, and the family had to completely change our um, direction in, in life. And so instead of growing up in Switzerland like I thought I was going to. Um, we moved back to the States. Almost every time I go to Les I visit Dad's grave. And here's the view from Dad's grave. What a bad final resting place. A few years earlier, I had climbed the Eiger, the same peak where uh, Dad died, and that was obviously an emotional uh, journey for me also. And I'm going around Switzerland, it's much, much less directly connected to Dad. It's, it's more connected to my, my passion for Switzerland and my having grown up here. But then when I fell, then I was, I was in a very dangerous part of the mountains, extremely dangerous part and very close to where Dad did a lot of his climbing. And this big rock came out and, and I fell and was very, very lucky to not have been killed by it. Yeah, we don't want to knock rocks on the rope down below. You know, I started falling and then I must have hit my feet and then bounced over like that because I went down head first, but my feet were broken. So I must have hit a ledge with the front of my feet and then um, that's what sent me over head first. I, I never let myself get upset about any of that because instead I'm just so happy to be alive. I focus purely on the delight that everything went as well as it did and I'll be back but I learned from it to be ever more careful. Sometimes one needs reminders like this. Now, oh, here's an obstacle I wasn't hoping to find. I don't know. I know that if I go down around to the right quite a ways, there's some kind of snow slope, but maybe I can scoot off over here. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> 